Okay, writers, some things to remember when you're writing your books. Make writing easy to read. Some things that are important to keep in mind when you are writing your stories is to leave spaces between words. Remember a finger space. You want to make sure that you have a space between words so the words don't smush together. All right? So make sure to leave a space between words. You're going to make pictures that help with the words. So whatever you're saying in your story, just make sure that your pictures are matching the words that you're writing about. Okay? You're also going to write a letter for each sound. All right, when you are sounding out things, make sure that you say the word out loud. Listen carefully and think, hmm, what do I hear at the beginning of this word? What do I hear in the middle? And what do I hear at the end? Okay, so it's very important that you, you do that. And when you are sounding out words, you can put that within your story, also in your pictures. If you're labeling things in your pictures or doing speech bubbles or thought bubbles, you can also write a letter for each sound there. You want to remember, use capital letters to start sentences. We've been practicing that. Make sure that you start every sentence with a capital letter. Okay? Also, Put a period at the end of every sentence. If it's a telling sentence or a statement, you're going to have a period. Now, if it is a question sentence, you are going to have a question mark. Okay? So you have a question mark for a question sentence or it's an exciting sentence. An exclamation mark. Remember? Also called an exclamation point. All right. So put a period at the end of every sentence. All right? So boys and girls, make your writing easy to read by leaving spaces between words, make pictures that help with the words, write a letter for each sound, use capital letters to start sentences, and put a period or other punctuation mark at the end of each sentence. Okay, writers, keep on doing your stories.